Big I wanna say thanks and big up to Grassroot Boxing. Go follow, mash the subscribe button, big up and hey, follow me on YouTube as well. <laughs> I didn't work boxing that Thanks. Um, all right, Mark, just just um just tell us briefly how you how you guys got together. because yeah. um, it's uh, obviously you've been to work working together for what about a year? Would it be a year now, Rich? Could it be? Not quite a year, is it? Coming up to a year. Coming up to a year. Do you know what I feel like I've known Richard uh, a little bit longer than that because uh, you know, working with Dillian, we had uh, Richard in for sparring uh, a couple of times. I think I saw you with the girls. Yeah, yeah, the girls. And um, you know, when you when you focus on focusing on big fights with Dillian, you kind of our, our fight focus on Dillian in his training and getting his rounds out what he needs and where he needs tweaking. But he stood out for me. He stood out for me. He was sparring with uh, with Dillian. Very sharp and on it. And um, natural athlete, good good physique, good build, good punch up with both hands. And um, you know, it would, I thought to myself it would be nice to work with him for a little while so I know what I could do with him so I knew he was intelligent. Didn't think nothing of it. Carried on working with Dillian and then um, I think once I've been lucky, he will mention to me, Mark, I'm going to manage Richard. And, uh, and that was it. I managed Richard and I said, oh, brilliant. I said, oh, can, you, can you do a bit with him? I think uh, it was for the uh, Parker fight. I said, well, uh, let's, let's get through the Parker fight first. <laughs> You know what I mean? But bring him on board for, for sparring and that. I'll do what I can with him, so I'm driving as well. So I'll do what I can with him, but when I, when I get the okay to work with someone, I want to get the best out of him. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to be in and out. I'd work with him I don't. And, uh, yeah, but um, he impressed me with his first fight. He had a short, stocky, short, stocky guy at the, uh, was it the O2, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the O2. It was the O2. He was a short, stocky, but experienced guy. Very rarely gets stopped. But he's built for, you know, looking at Richard, he's built for long range outside stuff. But he's very, very vicious on the inside, which, uh, which is very refreshing for a long, tall, rangy guy. So, so that was a that was a good win for him, and then obviously he, he, he come up against Sam Hyatt, which was a, it was a bit of a risk. But listen, he's 28, 29, right, Richard? Yeah, 28, 29. Sort of Sam was like 17. Was he 17? Something like that. Yeah, about 17. So, yeah, he's had, he's had a good 15 fights, yeah. something like that, and uh, he's unbeaten. He was unbeaten. Um, it was a bit of a risk, but Richard's you know want to move him along at the right speed, but you know it come up. And uh, I had every bit of faith in him. It's a bit, but it, it was a big, it was a big occasion. It was a big occasion in Manchester. There was on the music bill. It was, uh, and then when, when, when Sky heard about his backstory, it was very interesting and quite current because of uh, his background and what. And uh, so Sky was pulling him from pillar to post up there. So it was a little bit, was like a little bit of a rabbit, if you don't mind me saying, in the headlights. The occasion, you didn't expect that. But it was a learning curve, we got through it. Um, to be honest with you, he, was, uh, he didn't let his hands go in the fight until you know, we had a chat in the corner and we sparked something and ignited something and we had to find it and he got the win. So he got the win, so uh, I know he's got that in him. I know he's got that in him. And uh, he's been through that. He's been through that, that situation. And, uh, I'm very, very confident he won't be a, like a rabbit in the ice again. He can't lose because he's champion now. He won't be. It was like we, we spoke of and Miguel was, you know, I think it was about the fifth or sixth round and you said the same thing. Yeah. Mark, Mark had a little chat with you and then you came out and then it was like, um, you know, you basically started controlling the fight and, and obviously Sam kind of got that horrible injury which yeah. wasn't, yeah. wasn't, wasn't yeah. nice. Um, th on your thoughts on that, I mean, it, it, I'm surprised his corner didn't kind of pull him out of a bit earlier. I mean, we, No, I think his corner done a very good job. Uh, I think his corner, I think uh, Joe Gallagher. Done a very Great good, job. Yeah, he's done a very good job in, in doing it. I think, listen, he looked at the, psych, the psychology of uh, this guy, he weighs, he weighs all the opposition up like we do, like I do, and he knew, uh, he knew he'd save his fighter to fight the other day, and he pulled him out of the right side. But yeah, but um, you know, now I know Richard a bit more, uh, Sam come to lock on with him straight away, and he should have got off first. And he would have got it over in three or four rounds. So I mean, now I know about him now, but you know, it's all a learning curve, you know.
I'm just fighting because I don't even want to go. Um, obviously, he's got to fight against Tommy McCarthy, um, who's notable name, I think it was Matty Eskin. I think it was, uh, he, he lost on points. So, obviously, he's a, he's a bit of a tough, tough customer. Um, what, do you, what do you expect from, from, from uh, it's, a, it's a good fight. It's a good fight for, uh, for, for Richard again. Now he's WBA Intercontinental Champion. These are sort of poems he's got to, have, got to fight. And um, we will get through this. We will get through this in, in good fashion. And um, it'll be a, another learning curve for him, and he'll grow and, and his confidence will be sky high when we get through it. But we, we've got our own work to do, we've got a bit of work to do, but we'll do it. We'll do it. Yeah. Your hands must have taken a beating today, I saw. Like you and Dill were the mate. He's taken a beating today, he's taken a beating since I've known him, ain't he? There's nothing today, there's nothing. It's the shoulders and elbows that take a beating. <laughs> Alright, nice one. Thanks for giving us a bit of time. Cheers, okay, take care.